Reporter for Two Spoon Productions, I'm Shaq Rowe, and behind me is Ashmore Field, home of your Crusader baseball team. This week, I got a chance to speak with head baseball coach Landon Powell on his expectations going into this season and what he expects out of his team for the home opener this weekend. Harris, what do you have to say? First question, let's dive into it. Um, last time we saw your team was in April. That's 10 months. What's life been like for you and the North Greenville Crusaders? Well, over the last 10 months since we uh, finished playing in the conference tournament, you know, the first thing we do is we're out recruiting, trying to find the next best great players, um, trying to you know, replenish our roster from the good players that we lost. Um, we lost several key uh, outfielders, lost a starting pitcher, a uh, closer, and a catcher. So we were out on the road recruiting this summer, trying to find some good players to come in and replace those guys, and we felt like we've done that. Um, and then you get the kids to campus in August, and it's time to work, time to develop and coach and uh, – you know, get them ready for tomorrow, which is opening day, and uh, I think we're ready. Now you talked about losing some key people. Obviously, last year your team was known for a really a lot of power, speed, fundamental baseball, and you had a pretty deep pitching staff the past two years. Um, with a lot of new people coming in, like you said, a lot of transfers and stuff, going through a fall season, what do you think the makeup of your team looks like as you're going into opening day tomorrow? We'll be a little bit different team this year. Um, like you said, last year um, we were fundamentally sound. We led the league in ERA and, and fielding percentage, and I actually expect us to do that again this year. Um, last year we did hit a lot, a, lot of, a lot of home runs. I think we finished in the top 30 in the country in home runs, um, and we had some good speed in the outfield. But this year I think we're more of a team speed. Um, everybody in our lineup except for one guy can steal a base. Uh, so I think we'll be a team that hits a lot of – we're singles and doubles, gap, gap power type team that steals a lot of bags, plays good fundamental defense. I think that we'll bunt more this year. Um, we'll use a little bit more small ball than we did last year. Uh, in the past, we've kind of been a, a, a walk, a bloop, and a three-run homer. It was kind of our offensive game plan. I think this year we're a little bit more complete through the lineup, and uh, we can move some runners and uh, um, get guys in scoring position. I think we'll continue to drive them in. So we'll do that by bunting, by running, things like that. And, uh, you know, we got a couple power guys, uh, but just not as much in the, as in the past. You talk about your team being complete. Um, last year, obviously, the big name was Maggio, and I spoke to him a couple days ago. And it sounded like he's really grown from the first year that he came here, from me knowing him. Uh, just talk about the maturation process that you've seen from him from his first year. And when I talked to him, he talked about leadership and those kind of things. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, you know, naturally, um, college kids, the more you – or in a program, the older you get, the more you start to take control and be a leader, which is great. That's what we, we want as coaches. Um, Maggio was a guy that came in from University of Tennessee, had a lot of SEC experience, a lot of big-time baseball experience. Um, but even when he got here, he still was a little unsure of himself. He lacked a little bit of confidence. Um, he had tons of ability but didn't believe in himself fully. That's, what, that's the biggest thing I've seen with him over the last year and a half is that um, now he really believes in himself. He's got that inward arrogance, and he knows that he's going to be overmatch. He's going to be overmatching almost every pitcher he faces, and um, you can see that the way he walks and he plays, and you know his his, his uh, overall character every day. He he really believes in himself. So I think that's a big thing for him as a senior. He had a great year last year: 17 home runs, 20 doubles, was runner-up for conference player of the year, and I expect him to even do better this year. And, and looking forward to that. I want to talk a little bit about the Conference Carolinas rankings. And me knowing you personally, I know that you don't really care about the rankings and stuff like that. But knowing a couple of your teammates, I know that they probably saw it. What do you tell your teammates? Um, obviously, having a good year last year, making the regional conference, reg regional tournament the first year, they obviously have high expectations and they think that they should be ranked first. What do you tell your teammates, your team, going into this year, or are they seeing them not be ranked one or two? What do you tell them? You know, it's interesting because my first year here, we weren't expected to be very good. And you were on that team. We were picked to finish 10th out of 10 teams in the league, and that put a big chip on our players' shoulders. Our team really had something to prove every day when they went out. And then they won the conference championship, which was awesome. Well, last year going into the season, we were preseason ranked first. We were picked to finish first last year. And we had a great year. We won 21 conference games, which was a school record for conference wins. So, I mean, they lived up to the expectations. Um, this year, I feel like we're getting overlooked. To be preseason ranked fourth, and we just, you know, led the conference last year in wins, and we returned a lot of our key players, a lot of our pitching, and we brought in some really good additions. 
I feel like we're getting overlooked, and I think our players feel that way. Um, the good news is none of that means anything. They're just rankings, and they're just a bunch of people sitting behind a computer kind of forecasting. And if you watch the news every day, you'll see that weathermen are wrong half the time. All right, so these people are forecasting what they think is going to happen. 99% um, of the time they're incorrect. It never really works out the way you think. Um, I think that our team should have a chip on their shoulder again this year, like they did two years ago. They should be motivated to prove people wrong, that we're getting overlooked in not only our own conference, but nationally, regionally. Um, there's a lot of teams being ranked ahead of us, and um, I hope that in three months, people are going to be thinking, man, how did we overlook them? They were really, really good, and we should have never, um, we should have never passed up on them in those rankings. So. And last question, 29-25, first year, regional appearance, conference champions, second year, 35-16, and 16, second consecutive tourney appearance, not what you expected, season about to come up, what do you expect for your team this year, and what should people around North Greenville and around the community expect from your team as you go out throughout the season? You know, the first couple of years, the first year here was obviously about turning the program around. Um, it was in a bad situation, and we wanted to prove that we could win. And uh, my goal going into that first year was to win more games than we lost, which we did. And we also got really hot in the conference tournament and won a conference championship, which was pretty cool. Went to a regional, which was an awesome experience. Last year, our motivation was to repeat. Win the conference again, go to a regional again. Uh, we had a great regular season. We just came up short in the conference tournament, and we got snubbed for the regional. Um, I thought we were a regional team last year. You know, we won one or two games here or there, and we're a regional team. Uh, we could have beat any team in that regional. Actually, I mean, Mount Olive, was a regional team and we swept them during the regular season. Um, so this year we want to just continue to get better, to continue to add on, on where our programs develop. So, um, you know, I think we should try to win 40 games, we should try to win the conference, and we should definitely try to be in the regional. Um, and, and I really believe we have the talent, the ability um, to be a, a World Series team. You know, so why, why go out there and play if you're not trying to win at all? You know, and that's. Um, even two years ago when I knew we weren't probably going to win it all, I still thought we could. I mean, that's, the, that's what you have to think as a coach. Every team, every game we play, I think we can beat the other team. And um, so that's my goal. I mean, if, if I want to be honest with you, in my heart of hearts, I think we should be 50-0 this year in regular season. I, th I think that we're that good. I think we can beat everybody. Realistically, I know how baseball works, and I know that there's going to be some games you lose here and there. There's going to be some mistakes. There's some whatever. Um, but... I think we should be a 41 team. I think we should be a regional team, and I hope we can get to the College World Series. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.